may i request dr sachin kale sir to please present his presentation so topic given to me was is nailing possible in distal tibia and i say yes absolutely the distal tibia nailing uh, in distal tibia fractures nailing is absolutely possible especially the extra articular fractures open fractures the poor skin condition and segmental fractures just to brush up the distal tibia fractures classification we all know just one more thing is that now this is distal tibia fracture maybe roughly lower one fourth the tibia yes atul what do you prefer doing this pet leading can be better absolutely it is a surgeon choice here i want to just highlight can i have a pointer yeah here i want to highlight the fracture both are quite low so most of them people will agree for the plating but if you do the nailing properly uh, in this in this patient there was a poor skin condition also the blisters were there and so this choice was taken of this implant and uh, second now anybody for plate nail chetan plate okay nail oh sorry nail okay <laughs> so chetan is with me i will always prefer a nail maybe i am a little bit more towards in the favor of nail because it's minimally invasive less radiation time according to me definitely plate the fibula this patient was 77 years i thought i will get the hold or not i don't want to disturb the periosteum and the fragments so good results sometimes results can't be challenged third maybe the simple fracture if you see properly here most of them people will miss the fibula fracture one or two patients i have myself missed and not much issue but took a hell of a time to unite so if you done a proper the two columns you fix the proper fibula the nailing and follow the protocols of the nail with the two proper uh, distal screws the results are good osteoporotic stress fracture trivial trauma again nail plate atul okay so now they are more in favor of nail okay in this patient definitely i'll nail it maybe the nail is a little bit proud because sometimes the diameters are there and mild valgus also so this fracture again lower one fourth most of the things of the distal tibia i would like to say as the distal tibia is more common to go in non union because of the blood supply the subcutaneous tissue around there and lot of stress and also the skin condition so maybe I, we will not nail plate at the stage but if you given a choice i'll definitely nail this fracture again the fracture oblique if you see in this x ray okay i feel it could have been better maybe would have fixed the fibula It's still a thing surgeon to surgeon and also mild valgus so that's where the role of polar screw comes and there are articles of the uh, from egypt the showing the polar screws are important for adjuvant for the intermedial nailing because they helps in fracture reduction and also offsetting the deformities deforming forces that causes the mal alignment so the tip of the uh, if you see here there is a valgus mal reduction most important is the center point of the tibia if that i feel is a magic point for the distal tibia nail and if you can achieve the center point both in ap and lateral the results are quite good so depending upon where the reduction is there we want to reduction of valgus or varus the fracture is going this is a good example of from the your reference if it is going in valgus reduction that uh, the position of the polar polar screw should be properly so it helps in the reduction also and avoid mal reduction last few years we are doing a super at least my myself also doing a supra patellar nailing and i feel is really really convenient for doing especially distal locking because we want to do the distal locking in the distal tibia in both the planes anterior and the uh, ap plane and the lateral plane because the normal shaft you can get away with a figure of 4 but it is very difficult so this uh, fixation of the tibia with supra patellar nailing is very good method it is help in extend position so easier for distal locking and better reduction the diameter of nail as we have in eo there is maybe ar around 11 but for normal indian implants there is 8 to 10 i feel bigger the diameter of the nail is good for the fixation 
this is a little controversial topic i feel depending upon the surgeon to surgeon i went to the literature it shows it has advantages doesn't has advantages but definitely lateral malleolus fracture fracture below towards the syndesmotic level definitely that uh, manage uh, fixation of tibula fibula is mandatory or not but that gives a better result and better anatomical length and rotation stability so we go for the review of literature the real literature say, says both nailing with and without polar screw but definitely with polar screw has a better results the nailing has a in the jbgs article nailing has advantages over the short for the shorter duration and uh, radiation and sh lesser radiation time this study was there showing the good results with a nailing with a functional outcome secondary there are disadvantages because the distal bolt becomes quite prominent just below the subcutaneous tissue and the removal sometimes is mandatory again we go through more of literature if you see predominantly intramedullary nailing is preferred with a bad skin condition that's what i found has a very good results in a uh, compound fractures sometimes segmental fractures and also we we'll avoid the mal union the only problem only the, what i feel the issue in the distal femur and uh, distal tibia nailing is that locking has to be done properly the center point has to be achieved and the two bolts has to be there what are the other ways like helping the uh, for nailing for distal tibia percutaneous clamps the blocking screw already we discussed for the polar screw fix the fibula or not as i told you mostly syndesmotic injury lateral fibula fractures better to fix distractors can also be used so this is a x ray showing again the distal tibia fractures passed with the screws one more x ray ideal fixation for the distal tibia with a good fixation uh, ideal also for if there is poor skin condition so what are the advantages of the nailing can be done till the compound grade 3a can be done in poor skin condition minimally invasive can be done in extension can be done for the segmental fractures and no subcutaneous hardware except the screw heads okay i have also done plating this doesn't mean the plating is bad in the distal tibia but the choice of implant should be there if the poor skin condition is there extensive extensive damage longer incision i'll not prefer plate will pradeep will argue with me for this so we'll listen to the pradeep afterwards when not to nail definitely interarticular fractures and trimalleolar fractures nowadays also there is a lot of literature available where they put the uh, do the fixation of interarticular pylon fractures also trimalleolar with nails rehab standard rehab where you give for 2 uh, 3 days of post op the nailing advantage is that we we uh, we can start a little bit of ankle movements so physiotherapy and nail weight bearing uh, fast faster so what is take home message the nail position should be center it looks very simple for the distal tibia to put a nail but i feel it is more surgical demanding and skillful thing because the nail has to be center in the both the planes rimming should be done most important thing especially for the juniors the rimming has to be done in the reduced position the nail length has to be till the subcondral consider the role of polar screw just don't accept virus valgus mal alignment and better the better the diameter bigger the diameter of the nail better it is thank you